Hi and welcome to the Briofetzer Nursery in uh, Sebazan in the foothills of the Pyrenees in the Mediterranean, France. Um, today I am talking about one of our um, carpeting mosses um, and how to propagate it. Um, uh, we, we grew about 50 plus species of uh, liverwort, moss and lichen on our little farm. Uh, this is one of them. Um, its common name is um, pearl moss and at the moment it is dehydrated um, which is uh, for instance if um, if you were to order moss from our farm uh, we would de we would take it fresh dehydrate it and um, then um, send it to you. And the reason why we dehydrate it is it because we're, we want to avoid mold and we want to avoid the moss um, starting to decompose in, uh, whilst it's shipping. And moss uh, can survive long periods of time completely dehydrated. And once rehydrated, the leaves open up and uh, start photosynthesis again and then start to search and settle and uh, will commence regrowth, uh, new growth. So this, uh, this mass, um, um, it's a very, very interesting um, uh, mass. It's got long, long branches um, with quite large leaves for moss. Um, and it, uh, it, it lives, uh, sort of low light, partial shade, uh, areas in, in nature. And, um, it, uh, grows on quite high acidity, um, substrate. Um, so what we do is we make, um, uh, a forest compost with pine needles, beech leaves, oak leaves, and compost and uh, what we do is we allow that to compost for about six months and then we use it and we sterilize it and we use it as a uh, substrate we sterilize it so that um, grass seed or, or other seeds can't can't grow through the carpets of moss that we're trying to grow <clears throat> so um, uh, basically this moss is uh, amazing uh, if um, it's it's amazing for vivariums because it grows into a very thick carpet, very thick. It's interlace interlaces and really becomes a thick thick carpet, um, which, which is great for little animals, uh, frogs, um, insects because they really can't rub it up when they can't um, like. Um, destroy the carpet um and it and it grows very quickly um uh again uh so this is great for vivariums it's great for terra uh, terraniums um it's great for moss gardens and living walls um because it's partial shade um and it uh it doesn't have uh, like large requirements it will uh it will send branches out and grow um, quite quickly, spreading, um, s spreading along a wall or whatever. And as you can see, it makes really large carpets if you allow it to do that. Um, and also, uh, this uh, this moss is actually amazing uh, if you stabilize it uh, using glycerin. Uh, which is done when you're making like little models or uh, you know fairy furniture or war hammer um, uh, little rocks covered in ivy little it really really looks like a, a vine when you separate it and you uh, and you use for instance one or two branches you can you can really make interesting little models like a little a brick wall with with ivy or a little vine going over it um, so this is great for model making great for variums great for um, also it's it's it loves high humidity um, so it's it's great for foreign countries uh, tropical countries it, it will survive nicely in high heat and um, high humidity so um, 
how to propagate this mass uh, as you can see i mean this one we we this time it's really time to <laughs> to 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 separate it up and and propagate it so this is what we do you can very quickly make a large amount of moss with uh, with with a small piece so um what oh let me do let me put this here i guess can i put that there so uh, if you were to order, say, um, a small piece, uh, let, let's say five centimeters by five centimeters. So it would arrive as a thick carpet. And uh, with a small amount of substrate uh, underneath. And you can quite easily separate it like this. Separate it up. And then plant it, and again here, um, you can make large, large areas very quickly, and and you, it's actually doing, <laughs> doing the moss some good. Um, you can plant it as is, as a thick carpet, and and it'll start to spread out from the carpet because it's quite when it's thick and dense, it just sort of grows on top of each other, and if it doesn't have anywhere to go, then uh, it it'll just become thicker and thicker and thicker um but uh if you separate it like this it actually in it likes this you know you know, gently gently separating gently gently separating and uh it'll then have room to to grow again into it uh, and it'll become a thick carpet within within a few months there so from a small piece you can make a large piece <laughs> um, you know, take small pieces off and then you propagate it around your your terrarium, moss wall. Uh, living art piece is great. This moss is great for basically so many different kinds of projects. There you go. So separate it and then plant it again. There, done. So uh, yeah, I think I talked about the substrate. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. This was about, uh, pearl moss. You can find pearl moss, um, uh, in a little Etsy shop, um, where we sell all our moss and other sort of plants and medicinal plants and, um, even uh, like aquarium plants and other terrarium, terrarium plants. Um, and uh thank you for watching uh, uh subscribe if you wish to like if you like um and uh check out our other videos uh lots of information and trying to pass on uh, as much um, knowledge as we can and i'll put uh, a little link to our shop in the notes section so that you can go check out our our stuff Okay, take care from uh, the Bria Fitter Nursery in Sebazen in the foothills of the Pyrenees, Mediterranean, France. Take care. Bye.